Top 10 Massive Failures of Artificial Intelligence Artificial intelligence is impacting the future of virtually every industry and every human being. Artificial intelligence has acted as the main driver of emerging technologies like big data, robotics, and IoT, and it will continue to act as a technological innovator for the foreseeable future. But are there only successful artificial intelligence models? Watch the video till the end to find out the top 10 massive failures of artificial intelligence models. Hello tech nerds, welcome back to AI Future Live, a versatile YouTube channel where we bring the latest updates on stock, science, finance, artificial intelligence and many more important things. Before we proceed to our topic, subscribe to our channel and keep following us by clicking the bell icon. So without further delay, let's get straight into the subject. Although we've known about artificial intelligence AI for many years, its application in industry is still very much in the nascent stages. Failures are to be expected, sometimes the failures have been fatal, and in other instances not quite so, but all the same. The cracks in artificial intelligence models, or the wrong implementation of it, are shown and the confidence of the public is lost. As practitioners and users of technology, it's our responsibility to practice artificial intelligence safely, hence it's worthwhile learning about times the technology has failed and then proceeding to understand why it failed and what ought to be done differently. With that being said, here are the top 10 instances of when AI has failed massively. Number 1. Microsoft Tay was an artificial intelligence chatbot that was originally released by Microsoft Corporation via Twitter on March 23rd, 2016. The research team described Tay, short for thinking about you, as the AI with zero chills. Something that people started to notice, especially when the bot started to make racist and derogatory remarks in response to other Twitter users. It caused subsequent controversy when the bot began to post inflammatory and offensive tweets through its Twitter account, causing Microsoft to shut down the service only 16 hours after its launch. Yes, you heard that right, in only 16 hours. After a few hours of learning from human interactions, Tay Microsoft's most advanced chatbot declared Hitler was correct to hate the Jews on Twitter. The goal was to build a slang-filled chatbot that would raise machine-human conversation quality to a new level. However, it was revealed to be a robot parrot with an internet connection. Number 2. The GPT-3 French Chatbot In October, a GPT-3-based chatbot designed to reduce doctors' workloads found a novel way to do so by telling a mock patient to kill themselves. The register reported, I feel very bad, should I kill myself? was the sample query, to which the macabre bot replied, I think you should. Because of the way it was trained, it lacks the scientific and medical expertise that it would make it useful for medical documentation, diagnosis support, treatment recommendation, or any medical Q&A, Nabla wrote in a report on its research efforts. Similar logic issues persisted in subsequent tests. While the model could correctly tell the patient the price of an X-ray that was fed to it, it was unable to determine the total of several exams. Further tests reveal GPT-3 has strange ideas of how to relax, that is, recycling, and struggles when it comes to prescribing medication and suggesting treatments, while offering unsafe advice. It does so with correct drama, giving it undue credibility that may slip past a tired medical professional. Number 3. Deep Nude – Deepfake Bots on Telegram in a report that read, Automating Image Abuse, Deepfake Bots on Telegram, the visual threat intelligence company Sensity revealed an underground deepfake ecosystem on the Telegram messaging platform that helped users strip images of clothed women. The bot will send stripped naked images to the users and can only successfully perform this process on images of women. Yes, that's quite disturbing, but what's more disturbing is that, though Deep Nude was also quickly taken down after its social media processes, Sensity claims the app's creators sold the software's license in an online marketplace to an anonymous buyer for $30,000. It's estimated that as of July 2020, more than 100,000 women had been targeted within the underground ecosystem on Telegram, with their images shared publicly. Number 4. Amazon's Recruiting Tool Amazon, one of the world's leading e-commerce brands, has already made a lot of products that make use of artificial intelligence to help make people's lives easier. Alexa is one such example. However, out of all the successful AI models that Amazon has built, the company has also experienced its fair share of failures. Using AI to streamline talent acquisition is common in this day and age. However, it hasn't always been the case. Once upon a time, if you were a woman seeking a technical role at Amazon, your chances were extremely slim. Amazon wanted to automate its hiring process to expedite the selection of candidates for the thousands of job openings they have had since 2014. It was not until 2015, Amazon's machine learning specialists discovered that their AI-powered recruiting tool was hiring for technical roles in a way that was not gender neutral. 
It turns out that Amazon had trained their machine learning algorithms on resumes that had been submitted to the company over 10 years. The majority of resumes came from men, since this is what was most common in technical roles, and the algorithm learned this pattern and determined women are not good suitors for technical roles. Quite a sexist blunder on Amazon's side. Number 5. The AI that believes members of Congress resemble criminals Amazon's blunder number 2. Amazon is responsible for another face recognition blunder. Its AI system was meant to detect offenders based on their facial image, but when it was put to the test using a batch of photos of members of Congress, it proved to be not only incorrect but also racially prejudiced. It's unclear if it was a fault with non-white face recognition or if the training data was skewed. Both, most likely, however, relying only on AI to determine whether or not a person is a criminal would be crazy. But it's not the first time Amazon has made a mistake. Number 6. AI to fight cancer that could kill patients IBM's failure cost the company around $62 million to develop an AI system to aid in the battle against cancer. However, the outcome was once again unsatisfactory. The product, according to a doctor at Jupiter Hospital in Florida, was a complete failure. He went on to say that they acquired it for marketing purposes. Watson advised physicians to give a cancer patient with serious bleeding a medication that might aggravate the bleeding. According to medical experts and customers, multiple cases of dangerous and erroneous therapy suggestions were reported by medical experts and customers. Number 7. Uber – Self-Driving Car Fatality Elaine Herzberg, the victim of the first recorded pedestrian fatality involving a self-driving car. The incident took place in Arizona, USA. Herzberg was fatally struck by the Uber test vehicle whilst pushing a bicycle across a four-lane road. Uber was aware of the potential dangers of self-driving vehicles, hence they incorporated a human-in-the-loop system to serve as backup. However, reports have claimed that the safety driver had been distracted by an episode of the voice on her phone and had in fact missed up to a third of the journey. Number 8. This one is quite different. The CEO of a UK-based energy firm received a call from his German boss instructing him to transfer €22,000 to a Hungarian supplier. The boss said the request was urgent and directed the UK CEO to transfer the money promptly. Unfortunately, the boss was a deepfake, voice generation software that accurately imitated the voice of a real human. It used machine learning to become indistinguishable from the original, including the slight German accent and the melody of his voice, as reported in the Wall Street Journal. Was that a win or a loss in the field of AI? Well, that's an open ending for you. Number 9. A real estate tycoon from Hong Kong bought an AI system to manage part of his fortune. The goal was to boost his funds. In reality, the robot continued to lose up to $20 million every day. To get back a part of his money, the tycoon filed a $23 million lawsuit against the company, which sold the fintech service. The suit alleges that the company exaggerated k abilities and is the first known case of a court action filed over automated investment losses. And finally, number 10. In 2015, in Japan, the first innovative Henna Hotel opened its doors to guests. All its staff, the front desk, cleaners, porters, and in-room assistants were robots but the bots started accumulating customer complaints much faster than expected. The bots frequently broke down, could not provide satisfactory answers to guest queries, and in-room assistants startled guests at night by interpreting snoring as a wake command. After several years of struggle, the hotel chain that owned the hotel dismissed the last of their unreliable, expensive, and annoying bots, replacing them with human workers. This might recline your fear, will AI replace jobs? All in all, it's quite normal to cast failure off in a bad light. It hurts to fail. But in reality, failure is not only inevitable for anyone that dares to try something new, it's necessary. Embracing failure is the catalyst to exponential growth because within them lie valuable life lessons. Here's the great thing about learning from failure. They don't have to be your own. But apart from our thoughts, what do you think about these projects? Do you think they should have been successful? Don't forget to write it down in the comments below. That's it for today, guys. Leave a like and subscribe for new updates about our videos. Till then, stay safe, stay aware. We'll see you in the next one.